This time, I'm going to compare sigmoid and softmax activation function with Python. An activation function is a function used in artificial neural networks which outputs a small value for small inputs and a larger value if its inputs exceed a threshold. If the inputs are large enough, the activation function fires. Otherwise, it does nothing. In other words, the activation function is like a gate that checks that the incoming value is greater than a critical number. Now, let's try to separate different data points into different data clusters. You can see there are two major data clusters, the blue one and the red one. To simplify this problem, let's just ignore those minor groups. Clearly, if you want to draw a line to separate those two clusters, you cannot draw a straight line. In this case, we can use multi-layer neural network like this. We have our input layer and we have our output layer. And in between, we can have two or more hidden layers. In those hidden layers, we can have different activation functions. I listed several popular types of activation functions. First is a binary step function. When the input is negative, we just ignore this input. When the input is greater than zero, and then we will have an output one. That means it fires this activation function. And then we have linear function. That means whatever the input is, we will take it as an output. Obviously, this is not very useful for nonlinear problem. And then we have this remove function. That means on the positive input, we have same as the linear function. But if the input is negative, we just ignore the input. And then we have this tanch function. This tanch function looks like this. That means when the input value is close to zero, it looks like a linear function. But when the input is very large or very small, and then the output value won't change much. But this tanch function has positive and negative. And then we have sigmoid function and softmax function. I'm going to talk those two functions in detail in the next slide. The sigmoid activation function use this formula. This function takes any real value as input and output values in the range of 0 to 1. You can think about you want to buy a house and then you want to apply a mortgage from a bank. Of course, 
you have your credit score, you have all your credit card history, and you have income statement, tax return document, all those documents. And then, if your credit score is very good, and most likely you are going to get the mortgage approved, that means you will have your chance to get mortgage close to 100% if your credit score is very good. But you will never reach 100%. Anything can happen. The bank just reject your application. On the contrary, if your credit score is not that good and then your chance to get mortgage will become lower, but it will not go to zero. You have still a smaller chance to get this mortgage approved. This is how we use this sigmoid activation functions. What is this softmax activation function? We can calculate softmax activation function with this formula. Well, we have a vector have a n number of classes. That means in this case we have n equal to 3. And then this c is the input vector of the softmax activation function. In this case we have three elements in this input vector. And ci is the s element of the input vector. So in this case this will be c1, this will be c2, this will be c3. And xp ci is the standard exponential function applied to ci. And then we are going to sum up those exponential functions for all the elements and put in this denominator. Please be aware in this softmax activation function the output vector value sums up to 1. You can see if you sum up those three output in this example it will be 1. That means whatever the input value is the output will end up to this note or this note or this note. So the possibility of the all output will sum up to 1. Then when do we use softmax? Softmax can be used in artificial and convolutional neural networks. Idea is to map the non-normalized output of data to the probability distribution for output classes. As I mentioned before, in softmax, all the output will sum up to 1, so it can be used in the final layers of neural network-based classifiers. And softmax can be used in other multi-class classification methods, and also it can be used in reinforcement learning.
Now, let's compare sigmoid and the softmax activation functions. For sigmoid activation function, it is used for binary classification in the logistic regression model. And the probability sum does not need to be 1. I will show you in the Python code later. And it can be used as an activation function while building a neural network. A softmax activation function can be used for multi-classification in the logistic regression model. And the probability sum will be 1. And I will show this in the Python code later. And softmax activation function can be used in the different layers of neural network. But most of the cases, softmax activation function is being used in the final layer of the neural networks. In short, softmax is used for multi-classification in the logistic regression model, whereas sigmoid is used for binary classification in the logistic regression model. Now, let's go to Python to compare those two activation functions. First, I wrote the function for softmax and sigmoid based on the formula I showed you before. And then, I provided four data points. The higher the number is, that means the probability will be greater for this data point. In this example, 3.6 is the largest number, and negative 1.5 is the lowest number. And then I will calculate softmax. Then I will sum up all the outputs from this softmax and display it. And then I'm going to calculate this sigmoid function. And then I'm going to sum up all those outputs from sigmoid. Lastly, I took 100 data points from negative 10 to positive 10 and calculated softmax value and draw the graph so you can see how it looks like. Now let's run the program. This is the four data points as our input vector and you can see if we sum up all the elements from softmax and it will become 1. That means 100% possibility for all those data points. And 3.6, the last element, has the largest number. It has 79% possibility here. If we check the sigmoid result, it has those four results. And similarly, the last element has the highest number. It's 0 0.97. But if you sum all the elements of sigmoid up, it will give you 2.366. It's not one like the softmax. So this is the main difference 
between softmax and sigmoid. If we take 100 data points from negative 10 to positive 10, you can see as the number increases, the possibility jump sharply. I will upload this Python code to my GitHub so you can download it and run it by yourself. This is my comparison between Sigmoid and the softmax activation function with Python. Please provide your comments and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.